Welcome back to Tunic. Oh my goodness, I have so many things I want to say, I don't even know where to start. Well, first of all, I'm usually very fond of seamlessly continuing the videos as if I didn't take a break in between. But today I feel like I had to explicitly tell you that this is a different recording session than the last time because I feel like in between the last session and this session, I've made some pretty significant progress in looking at the manual. I didn't play, but while editing the previous videos, I noticed a lot of things that I missed the first time around, so... Yeah, let's um, why don't we start by opening the manual today? And last time I mentioned that we should probably read it once through from the beginning, but you know what? We're gonna start elsewhere. We're gonna start with the... The one page that tells us where... The upgrades are. Because mm -hmm. I, I think I know exactly where the last two are now. We're missing potion and also attack. Potion! So these are all fragments of the map of the manual pages, right? I didn't recognize this, but this is the quarry. I didn't go into the shrine that was in the quarry because I was thinking so much about the gun. So we definitely got to go back there and get that. And this one. This one is really interesting. You might recognize that this is the, the one map that shows the teleportation place, right? Yeah, the one thing about looking at the map in the game, as opposed to looking at screenshots, is that it's really hard to compare different pages. So I was actually doing a lot of looking outside of the game itself, just by looking at the screenshots and all that. This page. So this is page 41. We're looking for this symbol, right? And what I did was I went back to that page and I realized, hey, how come I can't find the symbol? And then I realized that, okay, there's a little bit of a hint here because there's a screenshot with a ladder the red section here at the very top. So I went back here. How come I don't see anyone that's like the trees and the, the thing? And then, okay, well, this is the screenshot. And look! Look! I never even saw that. Like, I was focusing so hard on this section here. I didn't even realize the second page added a new location here. That's really, really tricky. Wow. But this also means that we know exactly where this is now. Because if we go into the teleporty realm... There's so many things in my head right now, I'm bursting to tell you all of it. But we gotta go in order, okay? <laughs> right, there's a teleporty thing here. Oh my goodness, seriously? But where would this lead? I don't actually know. Somewhere scary? Where are we? <laughs> what? Hero's grave. Oh, this is getting into the eastern forest. Ah, the very beginning. Because we couldn't walk here. We couldn't walk here before, right? Which means there might be more to look at around this area. I seem to vaguely remember. I didn't really look this up directly. But you know how one of the pages at the very end here? This scene, I feel like it might be in this area. I feel like I've seen this before, us being on a cliff and then a hook at the bottom. But at the time, we were very, very far away from actually having had the ability to use the hook. So while we're here, that might be something we want to be on the lookout for. Okay, well, this one's simple then, because it looks like all we got to do is go back to the hero's grave area. That's blocked off, everyone's gone. It should be simple, right? Whoa! Whoa! What the hell? Oh! Oh my god! Where'd you guys come from? Hey, this place is like... It's still daytime. It's not nighttime. Isn't that weird? So all this time I never figured out what that white bar underneath the people when we attack them is. <laughs> Do they get tired? Whoa! Oh! Two can play that game. Jeez. Where did you guys even come from? Scare the crap out of me. And periodically, we should probably walk around just having the lock on enabled just to see if there's anything in the, the nooks and crannies we missed. 
Well, thank you. Yes, that's how we get back here. Attack is probably the most crucial thing we need if we want to go fight the air. Because one of the pages here? The one that shows that there's two different things. Yeah, it looks like the, um, the sword is golden. The sword being golden is a requirement. Well, maybe not a requirement as much as it would make my life a lot easier. And then for this one, a book. Probably representing knowledge. Okay, here we go, here we go. I also made a little bit of progress. Uh, I would say it's pretty unconsequential in decoding the cryptography. I think I figured out like one word, what one word means. <laughs> Probably not enough for us to crack the whole language though. Here we go. Now all we gotta do is get the last potion, but we should look around a little bit. Without getting the potion upgrade? Oh my god, the potions are garbage! It's not good enough. Oh, so nostalgia coming back here. Remember how much trouble I had before? Okay, so is there really nothing else around here? Hmm... There used to be a ladder that let us go up around here, right? But it's not here anymore. So all we can do is go this way, which I don't think will lead us anywhere new. It's just to have a look around. Wait, how do we get that? How do we get that? Because didn't we need to teleport to get this? Or was that already open? I don't even know. Wow. Oh, it just comes back. Oh, okay. That's fine. That is fine. Well, this might be it for the East Forest then. Although I maintain that I've seen that hook thingy before. Like, early, early on. We've seen it... ...somewhere. Can we go down here, back into the area where we saw spiders? No. Because I think there used to be ladders here as well, right? They've blocked it off from me. The time of day here is different. Isn't it? I feel like it is. Seems much more regular here. Actually, some of this is just invisible. I don't even need to teleport. Okay. Um, I guess the middle one we shouldn't go back to, right? Because that's where the air is. Did I ever try... No, I can't... Right, I can't go to the, the one in the back there. That one goes to the quarry section. And so, if I want to go back to the quarry now, I should probably... Where should I go to? I want to get back to the main area. I guess it would be... That goes to the eastern vault, I think. I don't have to memorize this. We got a map for a reason, right? Oh! I didn't even know we had a... Yeah, hey, what about this then? The arrow. First of all, the arrow, like what... Oh! Hold on, I can just go back... Yeah, I can just go here, right? And then that's how I... I can use this one. But to look into the arrow a little bit more... Because the arrow's coming off the cyan line, it's not coming off the white path. So I feel like even if I walk to... Okay, so, theoretically. This is where, yeah, this is where the line starts, right? But it's not really... actually. Oh! What the hell does this mean? Uh, okay. It, but it doesn't lead anywhere. It just means I can go here. Oh, there's a chest! It's one of the sparkling ones. Hold on, I ain't leaving without you. Don't you worry, my precious. Why is it so hard to find this right spot? Foxhead? 
Oh, okay. Okay. Ah, since we're doing the... This is a collectible thingy, right? I want to talk about the one page that I was so confused by last time, too. I think we found this page before we found that room with the trophy stuff, right? The collectibles, so... Sometimes things just make sense in hindsight. My mistake here was that I thought this was the house, but no. This is the house. This is the old house, because the bed is pointing to the spot in the, of the bed in the house. And I guess the other black dot is the entrance to the old house. And that path is the, um, the usual purple pathway we take. And this area, that's the door we opened last time where we got a manual page. And it's saying that this semicircle section is the collectible room where I guess there might be two or three things there now. Right, I completely misread this before. Just because I assumed that- Because there's a window there, right? Isn't that a window? Oh, it's the shield! That's right, that's where we picked up the shield before. I completely forgot about it, so I thought, okay, window. Window, that means that's gotta be the house, right? But <laughs> clearly not. But why- Okay, so it's saying that to open the door, we need to use the Holy Cross pattern, which we did. This, I guess, is just saying that, okay, this is where the collectible stuff is stored, and it's some kind of a trophy. A cup? If it's a cup, that kind of makes me a little bit suspicious, too, because we did see the thing in the beginning about how this fox is holding a cup. It's not the same kind of cup, though. So I don't really want to very quickly attribute that to, the, to being the same thing. Oh! Yes, page 9! I picked this up a long time ago when we left the cathedral, but I didn't read it. Data management. I, I did read this and I was like, okay, well, I, I can't really read a single thing here. But um, when I was loading the game today, I was trying to change the graphic settings so that I could show some images off screen later on. And what I found was that there's something interesting in my load file section. Should we look at it right now? I guess we can. Like if I go to the title screen here. Yeah, I've only ever had one save file, but this is... There's suddenly another file with a whole bunch of money and maximum playtime possible. I don't know what this means, but I'll look at it. Oh, this is so tempting to look at right now, but give me a sec, okay? Let's get the last thing first. What I've always done was I went to continue. I've never done load game before, but the one time I do, there's actually something there. I think we will need to look into that file later on though, but not right this moment specifically. So we got the chest, we figured out the arrow, good, good. And if we go here... We go back. I'll meet you at the quarry. I feel like I can't get the gun again, but at the minimum, I guess we can get the potion upgrade. Yeah, I, I just completely forgot there was a hero's grave here to begin with. We did see one where we got the scavenger mask. This place is pretty... messed up now. Anything in here? Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> I didn't need to find that out again. Bunch of scary skulls. Alright, can I reach a no problem? No, really? I could have sworn it was here. Okay, that's a problem, because wasn't the hero's grave beyond here? How do I... I didn't use a shrine outside. Oh god. Oh my god. Yo, I did not... Oh my god. The one bad thing about the dash is that I end up too far away to really do any damage to the guy.
Didn't I save you? Was that the only one? Was it a unique thing? Oh my god. Oh, oh, look at my freaking health, man. Don't do that to me. That scared me. Those ones... No, we've seen multiple of them. Back in the ziggurat, we've seen that they were being stored inside the monuments and stuff, which I kind of forgot about up until now. But I wonder if the Jesus one is special, because we also saw it in the manual. That's the last of what we're missing. We are now fully equipped yet again. Are we good? I mean, we're good, but nothing... Oh! Oh, I'm, I'm human again! Or uh, I guess I'm not a ghost? That's... Wait, does that mean we can't go back to the cathedral then? Because that might be a problem. You know, there was that one puzzle there we didn't solve, right? We have to... We have to go solve that. Oh no. Well... Okay. Cool. Cool. Now we can go fight the air if we want to. Which... Probably we'll want to. Eventually. Okay, so, I mean, I think this page... Ooh, I don't like that... Oh, wow, that's so cool, actually. If we're next to the pink stuff, even the manual pages get pink. I didn't know that. Kind of creepy, though. Okay. So maybe let's start with reading the manual from top to bottom. Does that sound good? Because I'm pretty sure there's still some puzzles we, we haven't looked at yet, and there's some puzzles that I don't know how to solve, and there's lots going on. Uh, I want to get out of here first, so we can get to a place where the manual page actually looks not pink. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Doesn't seem like we can go back to the ziggurat or get the gun. Mm. We could try going back to the collectible room. But that one spot with a cliff and the hook on the bottom... Oh, I wish I could remember where that was. I so feel like I've seen it before. Is that new? I don't remember this plaque being here before. It looks so deliberate. It's not a rock. Yeah, it's like... carefully cut. Let's just get to a place where we're not freezing in the cold. Because that actually matters, right? <laughs> okay, this seems like a good uh, place as any. Oh! But can I still see the other foxes around here? Hmm. No, let's just sit here for now, okay? So what I did was I briefly glanced at every single page, and I think there are certain things that I understand now, just from looking at it again, while or after knowing everything. What I want to start off with is not the first page, but one of the pages closer to the end here. This page. I believe I understand how it works. Last time I was here, the first thing I noticed was that the numbers seem like page numbers, because the highest one is 55, and the lowest one is 2. 55 we don't have yet. But I feel like aside from 55 and 54, I actually have all the other pages. So what I did first was, okay, well, 2 exists in here, right? So I went back to page 2. This is a really good page to look at because aside from the words, there is just one very special thing, right? Maybe you wouldn't look at it if you weren't looking for something interesting, but I think this is very interesting. And then as soon as I saw this, I immediately figured out what we needed to do. Because up until now, there has been one thing I noticed that I didn't say anything about because I didn't think it was worth talking about. On the pages, with the maps, let me find a map here. Right. Remember this one little island here with the flower and all that? For some reason, that little section of path is gold. And then on this map, for some reason, this little section of the map is gold. And then after seeing page 2, I realized that probably what I needed to do was go to every single page that's listed in this grid. And there is a golden thingy on each of these pages that I should overlay onto this pattern here, so that we can get a path, probably to be used at 
the mountain door. I've done my best to go over every single page here to see if there's a pattern, and I'm pretty sure there is, but there's still a few pages I'm unsure about. So why don't we read this manual from top to bottom, and I'll point out the patterns on the pages that I did notice. So table of contents here. Page 1. Actually, is it page 1? Page 2. Oh, so we're still missing page 1. Page 1, page 54, and then 55. Okay, this is the pattern. And also on this page, this is also where I figured out one word, controls, on page 12. So we know that the heading for page 12 should be controls, right? And on page 12 here, it's not in English, it's in the language, which means, I'm guessing this means control. What can I do with this information? Probably absolutely nothing for now, but it means control, I know it. Or right, controls, excuse me. I think that's it for this page for now. Page 3. Long time ago. Civilization, Holy Cross. Oh, now that we know this is purple energy, it's the foxes. So this crystal is like, um... Maybe it's like the soul, the soul energy of the foxes that are being harvested. How? Oh, maybe the power to defy death is to harvest somebody else's energy and convert it into your own. You're not dying because someone else is dying in your place, right? Kind of like that. And then this page here. Mm, we already looked at this, and page 4 was one of the thingies in the Golden Path page. This was a page I had trouble with. I looked all over and I couldn't find a thing, and it turns out... Look, do you see that? In between the two pillars, there is a pattern. Right there. The L and the mirrored version. These are really, really sneaky. Page 5. I guess... The power to defy death might be something that is forbidden magic, and so that's why they decided to imprison the air. Maybe. The air might have been around for a very long time. A prison and a beacon. A beacon. A beacon calls things over, right? The air is calling the air to the air over, maybe? Awaiting a worthy successor. The golden path. The golden path. Page 6 is also one of the pages with a section on it, right here, the golden text. Mm -hmm. This is when we picked up the three artifacts, I guess. Again, the same battle, fought uncountable times. Nothing here. Data management? Oh, this is one of the pages I had trouble with, which probably means we should check out the other save file then, right? Page 9, as far as I can see here, there isn't any sort of obvious golden line pattern. Hmm, but this question mark here, we gotta check it out later on. Beginning your adventure. One of the first pages we got? Mm-hmm. In a far-off land, a great treasure was sealed away forever. Some say it is the power to divide death. Oh, so the power was sealed along with the air. Is maybe what it sounds like? Page 11. Here is the path. All of these other ones are blue, but there's one that's just golden. And at first, you might think, oh, it's because you're really important. But no, no, it's the golden path. Controls. Roll. Roll to evade. Mm-hmm. Mm. This one is really, really sneaky. Page 15. Let's see, I'm looking at another screen right now. Both 15 and 16 have the golden path on it. Can you see where it is? It's in the back. You see it? This? Wrapping around here in the back. And then going like that. Going up. 
and then going across the screen. Where it probably does a turn here. And goes back up again. And ends there. That is so sneaky. So sneaky. Page 17. Okay, page 17. This stuff here. The dot pattern. I don't know what to do with it yet, but it seems to correspond to... Let's see. 17. It corresponded to some health potion thingy that we saw towards the end here. This thing? I'm not sure what to do about this though. Should I try right now? Maybe equip a... But I always have health potions equipped. Hmm. Yeah, maybe let's look for now, and then we'll try a whole bunch of things later on. But it seems like whatever I can do to this potion, I can also do it to a whole bunch of other items. And we know how to do this pattern now. It looks like maybe braille or something, but um... Yeah, we should be able to do it. Okay. Page 18? Look, the line. The vague line in the back here. But look at this section though. There's that little vertical line, which is something that we also saw on the um, tapestry in the old house. And at that time, I didn't know what to do with it, and I still don't know what to do with it. But whatever it means, this is telling me that that line has a meaning. That's all I know for now. Mm-hmm. When you die, you die. When you lose your health points, you can do it, blah, blah, blah. The well. This is one of the pages. I'm guessing th this is the path. Pretty obviously, the golden part. Now, this page was another one I had trouble with. I can see that there's some... Yeah, the misprinting might be part of the path, but I don't know how. Because there's multiple misprints on the page here. Is it okay for me to just say that this is a horizontal line across? This is a horizontal line. Goes down, going down, and then going this way, going to the left, down, right, down, like that? Because that seems like a lot of steps, and I feel like I'm a little bit uncertain if that's actually what we're supposed to be doing. So that's one that I shied away from writing out fully. But what's also interesting on this page is that I think this is telling me that the squares correspond to page numbers. I had guessed already, but this is a nice confirmation. Other than that... This is the door. Hero's grave. Holy cross. Bed. Something is wrong with a bed. I don't know what. This is the secret gathering place. Fairies, page 47. I don't know what this one is. At all. This is just talking about the collectibles. Yup, we got all that. Pray. Praying for three seconds. Mm-hmm. These pages are ones that we've seen already. I don't think I ever figured out this special technique thing. <laughs> but we seem to be doing okay without it, so I guess it's okay. Right, 27. This is the path pattern. Again, with a little line across the actual line. The vertical line is a path, and then there's a um, perpendicular line to it. This is the path. Nothing here. There's one chest here that I never got. But I can't go back to it. Maybe we can go back to it on the other save file they gave me. We'll have to open it up and see what it does. There was also a chest here that I didn't pick up. Oh, this one is so sneaky. At first I was looking around like, oh, where, where's the golden pattern? Where's the golden pattern? Is it that little orange section on the corner there? No, I think it's this. It's that right here. It's even a little bit tilted too, so we have to be careful about it. Mm-hmm. And we should be on the lookout for pencil markings, too. Pencil marking, we already got this one. We now know that the pencil markings are all related to the treasures. There's got to be one at the Rune Atoll, then. The one place that we had to reach via teleport. Oh, this one is also really sneaky. Look, the cloud here. The cloud with the sun in the back, making it into a golden pattern. Isn't that so sneaky? Holy crap. And then this one. The line. Down. Left. Down. Right, up, right. This is also another page where I made a discovery on, I think, the um, symbols. Yeah, these four symbols here, I had a look at it, and uh, I can't really get it to show properly on the same screen here. 
But for example, if you look at this one and this one, I'm gonna guess it's probably the cardinal directions. Northeast, southeast. Because if you look at the second symbol, it's the same. And then on this side, north, oh, I'm sorry, northwest and southwest. This is northeast, this is southeast. Again, the second symbol is the same. And then northeast, northwest. The first symbol is the same. Southeast, southwest. The first symbol is the same. Oh, actually. I guess that's what it's saying here. This is the pattern, right? Hold on. I, I didn't realize this. I just looked at this now. Oh, yeah. Northeast, southwest. Right, right, right. That's gotta be it for sure, then. Oh, wow, I didn't even... Hmm, I don't know what the notes mean, though. The musical notes. Hey, but the musical notes? You know where else we've seen it before? That. One note. Is there one that's one note here? Oh, but none of them are one note. Yeah, these are all, like... Two thingies. Okay, so this has got to mean something too, but I don't know what for now. I also compared these symbols to the weather vane that we saw before, where I noticed that there were four rows of four symbols, and... You know what? Let me just show you my Excel document here. Hold on. Yeah, I figured I just wanted a more organized place to keep track of this, so I, I had the controls thing down here, and then what I just mentioned about the northwest and the northeast and all that, but I don't know... Like, that's my inferred meaning of what the symbols mean, but what the symbol actually stands for. Does it stand for the letter N? Does it stand for the word north? I don't know. So that part I'm a little bit hazy about, but either way, the pattern on that weather vane. West, east, south, north. North, south, east, west. North, east, southwest. North, south, east, west. I don't know what to do with this information, but we have it. What's that? I don't know. I don't know. 35. Not much going on here. Mm hmm 36. 37. 38. Well, just to note, back in the Rune Atoll, there is a arrow. That's where we gotta use the teleport. But we have to be able to get back to the Rune Atoll first. This one, I don't think I see any sort of... Um, well, there's a gun here. But I can't even get back down anymore, so I don't think that's gonna be a thing, at least for now. 39. We solved this already, thankfully. Oh, the pattern on 39 is the bordering to this thing. You see it? Right, down, right, up, right. Page 40. I don't even know if we can go back to the cathedral anymore, but um, yeah, I don't know what this means either. Still. But the pattern is the coffee stain plus the crack in the wall. Down, left, down, right, up, right, down, right. This is one of the last ones I found. So sneaky. So sneaky. And then we just found that. And page 42. I believe this is... Yes, this is one of the Golden Path routes. But I, I'm looking at this page right now, but I really don't know where the path is. So this one, I'm just actually stuck on. It might be related... Oh, wait. Is it the golden color in between the boxes? Like, right down? Um, I'm probably gonna have to go back and check again, but... Maybe. Maybe. This one I'm stuck on. 43. 44, I'm also stuck on. Because there's a lot going on on this one page here. Like, is this the pattern you want? Is this the pattern you want? They're actually the same pattern. Yeah, uh, this one I'm not sure about. But it's, it's something. And I'm not sure what this... We've seen this thingy before. Secret gathering place? 46. This is the path. Forty-seven, the seeking spell, which is the um, the dot braille pattern thingy that we saw on the potion and all that. Not sure what to do with the information. See this this symbol again. 
48. This is the path. And then... Yeah. So after doing all that, I ended up with... This. Which... Like I mentioned earlier, I'm still missing a few squares. 44, 50, 42, 22. 55 we don't have, but just judging by the pattern that we have right now, I think it's probably going to be the end of the path. Like if we go up here, down... Right? That just makes sense, right? Yeah, maybe right now we can try to figure out 9. Maybe that's a thing. No idea what this means. This is somebody trying to figure out the Seeking spell, maybe? There's a pattern here, already. Maybe they were telling me it's easier for me to write it down or something? I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna write this down. Hold on. Down, right, down, left, up, right, up. Where do I put this, though? Do I just do it while I'm standing here? It's clearly overlaying it on top of the potion, but... How do I... How do I do it on the potion? Yeah, the person... Somebody was trying to decode the elements of the language, I guess. I haven't really gotten that far. I... No. <laughs> nice drawing, though. I like it. Oh, there's also a path on this page. Look. Right, up. Right, down. Left, down. With a little notch on the, the right section there. And then this page is a complete mystery to me. The windmill. Maybe we should go back to the windmill and just have a look, but like, what does any of this mean? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I feel like, again, this has got to be something, and then... I haven't tried equipping that pattern before. Dagger, wand, grapply thingy. But do we have to do it here? Was that the last page? Yes, it was. So let me try that pattern that we just wrote down. Down, right, down, left, up, right, up. Nothing happened. Let me try again. Down, right, down, left, up, right, up. Wait, what happened? What happened? <laughs> I don't know what happened! What, what happened? Something happened, but I don't know what. What happened? Can I do it again? Down, right, down, left, up, right. Oops, I made a mistake. Down, right, down, left, up, right, up. No, 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 you know what? Let's try the other ones. I'm gonna try all these patterns then. Oh, these are so long though, holy crap, give me a second. Okay, let's see, let's see. So the first one here, the bomb. Left, down, right, up, right, down, right, up, right, down, right, up, left. Do you just give me an extra one? Is that what that is? Oh, that's it? Oh, is it the plus one? No, you just gave me like a one, one that I can use again, right? But that's... that's not really helpful. I don't need to fight anybody anymore. Hopefully, well, maybe except for the air. But okay, I'll just do it anyway. Uh, the next one? The dynamite kind of bomb? So right now we have four. Down, right, up, right, up, left, up, left, down, left, down, right. Oh... Well, that's not really... At least we know what it means, though. That's- I think that's the important thing. Having it lingering around is, um, kind of a crappy feeling. And then the guas. Left, up, right, down, right, up, right, down, right, up, right, down, left. Okay, sweet, I guess. <laughs> that was kind of useless. Mmm. So I have been reading your comments, and first of all, thank you, because I think a lot of people, everyone's trying to like not spoil it for me, and I, I haven't been spoiled. But I, I did get the very strong impression from the comments on the last video that I did something right, my thought was right, but I did it wrong. 
<laughs> I can feel everyone trying to hold back, being like, oh, maybe, maybe you should try that again, is the sort of feeling I got. So I feel like what we did last time, maybe I wanna, I wanna go back and do it again too. Which includes what? Probably the, oh, the one cave with a secret gathering place, right? So maybe, maybe let me try to go back to that again. Or do I want to do... Does this mean anything? Maybe not for now. We got to do this pattern at a specific spot, maybe? I don't even know. Okay, we can't go back to the dark tomb. I will try to do this again. Here. I think last time, maybe... Maybe I had too much of a delay on how I did this, and I don't think I did the full pattern. So you know what? Let me write this down properly. This one's a pretty tricky pattern because we have to... We have to look at the first section on the bottom right, and then use the top like that, and then go back to the right side again. So hopefully I've written it down correctly. Let's see. Down, right, up, right, up, right, up, left, up, left, up, right, up, right, up. Left, down, left, down, left. Down, right, down, left, down, right, down, right, up, right. I did it! Oh! Ooh. What? What does that mean, though? I don't know. I don't know. <gasps> Souls returned, one. Souls. Okay. Hmm. A lot of people mention I should be writing these down because, yeah, the delay sometimes is what messes me over. And it seems to be working well so far, so I will continue doing that. But what do I do about you? Uh, I'm sorry, I don't know for now. I don't know for now. 